Hello there, it's Paul Travis Anderson, uh, the North East Garden, and today I'm going to talk to you all about birds and feeding birds and the reason you should feed birds and attract them to the garden because they have worked so hard for you in the spring and summer months clearing all those nasty insects away. So I'm going to talk about bird feed today. During the spring and summer months, what's been the birds have been working really hard in the garden. What they've been doing for you is they've actually been clearing away lots of destructive pests, leather jackets from your lawn, aphids have been eaten by blue tits and grey tits from your roses and other plants. The blackbirds have, and the thrushes have been clearing out slugs and snails and it's really important that we help them in the winter and autumn months when food becomes so difficult to find and the birds rely on us and we need to get them into the gardens and help them. Remember when you're feeding your birds it's important that we get lots of varieties of food on a bird table. This is a seed feeder that's got fantastic seed in. This particular seed that's in there, it's a mixture of large and smaller seeds, superb for giving birds plenty of energy. Don't forget also on bird feeders, some birds don't like to go onto bird feeders. You need also a tray where they can feed. And don't worry about bits that spill on the ground because the ground feeders will pick up on that. And fat balls, really important, a high energy food which will attract sparrows. Absolutely fantastic. And again, nuts, this will attract sparrows, great tits, blue tits. And even in this garden, we get a really rare bird come popping in to feed on the nuts, and that's a great spotted woodpecker. So remember, it's important to feed the birds, but have a variety of foods on your bird table. So what will happen is some of the food does get flicked off onto the floor as you can see and it's really really important for the ground feeders. The good news about this particular type of feed that we use and none of it will germinate so if it is on the ground for two or three days don't worry. And also don't forget to put more down. It's important to feed ground feeders such as chaffinches, bullfinches and you'll also get dunnocks and wrens and robins that need to go on the ground. Some of them don't particularly like to visit the bird feeders so remember to feed the ground feeders. Another important part feeding the birds that have helped you during the spring and summer months. So some birds are quite shy and actually don't like going to bird, bird tables so what you can do is it's handy sometimes to fill a feeder up using a fat ball feeder here. Again remember keep the nets on the fat balls and we're just hanging up in a tree and that's for some of the birds that are a little bit shy and they tend to want to feed in the cover of a tree and that will attract an awful lot of birds. There's a good place for them to land and get in there and you'll get things like sparrows and some of the shyer birds, even a nuthatch. We've got a, a woodpecker that actually visits the garden and he particularly likes uh, peanuts. Trouble is, when he goes to the bird table, he tends to frighten the other birds and also he's a little bit nervous. So what we've done is we've actually made a little bit more of a natural bird feeder from made out of a piece of silver birch. And we're just filling the bird feeder up there. And he tends to like this one. And we just pop this up on the tree and it's a lot nicer for him. He feels far more secure and I say again he doesn't tend to frighten the other birds away from the bird table.